Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print Pascal triangle. So what exactly is this Pascal triangle? Let me show you directly. So this is how guys a Pascal triangle looks like. Before we write the logic for printing this Pascal triangle, let's understand few details about this Pascal triangle. The Pascal triangle has the beginning and the last number of the given row as one guys. If you take the first row, one is a big, only one number. So beginning and last is only one. Now coming to the second row, again you see uh, it's starting with second row is starting with the number one and the ending also with the number one. Again third row, third row also having number one and ending as number one. Fourth row, and beginning with number one, ending with number one. Fifth row, every row will begin and end with number one guys. This is the first thing we need to understand from the Pascal triangle. Every row begins and ends with number one. This is the first rule. Second rule here is, if you take here, suppose here edges are designed. Let me take out this two from here, like uh, also three from here. Here also I'll remove the three. Here I'll remove the four, six, and here four. I have removed the numbers, only the edges I kept. But here, how to get this uh, numbers, how the between numbers are coming, let me explain. Here, here how we are getting here is, these two numbers, when you add, you'll get number two, right? Again, these two numbers, when you add one plus two, what you'll get guys, one plus two, three. Three should come here. Again here, two and one, right? Here, two and one. Again, you'll get three. Sorry, the space is getting added every time we add a number, that's fine. So here, two and one, three. Now, can you guess what will be the number here? What can be the number here? One and three, four guys, right? Just, uh, okay. Now, what, can you guess the number here? Three plus three, six. Next, here, can you guess the number here? Three plus one, so four. Like this guys, the Pascal triangle will be like this. Hope you understood. These numbers are addition of these numbers. One, two, three, two, one, three. One, three, one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. Now how to print this kind of triangle guys, okay? So for that, uh, we need to find few more details guys. Now at, uh, at this level, you understood what exactly the Pascal triangle is. Ed edges will be one and the in-between numbers will be the addition of the previous numbers, right? That's fine. So far so good. Now in order to print this Pascal triangle, we need to find few details. First details is how many rows? How many rows are there in this given triangle? Pascal triangle, one, two, three, four, five. Total five rows. What about spaces, guys? Spaces before the numbers. Here, how many spaces are there in the first row before the number got printed here? One, two, three, four, four spaces. What about second row? Second row has one, two, three, three spaces. Third row. Third row has one and two spaces. Fourth row. Fourth row has one space. What about fifth row? Fifth row doesn't have any space, so zero. That's it, okay? First thing, number of rows. Second thing, number of spaces before, before the number is printed. Third thing is, third thing here is, any other third thing we have apart from this? Yes, there is one more thing. That is, how many numbers are there in each and every row? In the first row, how many numbers are there? Only one number is there. Second row, how many numbers are there? Second row, there are these two numbers. Third row, three numbers. So the number of numbers in this row is equal to the number of the row, right? If the number of the row is four, how many numbers will be there in that row? Four, like that. If the number of the number uh, number of the row is five, how many numbers will be there in that row? Five, row, five numbers, like that. So total rows is five, space is like four, three, two, one, zero. And uh, the number of numbers in each and every row is one, two, three, four, five, like that. And also one more small thing is like, you see there are some spaces guys, okay? Between each number, there is a space, the spaces. Fine, no problem. So this will be enough guys. This requirements will be enough for getting us started with the program. So let's start writing the logic. Uh, first thing we need to consider is the rows guys. 
depending on the number of rows, we have to create a for loop here. Number of rows is equal to five. So this for loop should iterate how many times? Five times. Int i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus. This for loop will iterate how many times? Five times, guys. Zero, one, two, three, four. Five times it will iterate. Now inside this for loop, we need to create an inner for loop for printing the spaces. For, as part of printing the spaces, we need to create this for loop, guys. For int j is equal to zero, j less than. Otherwise, we will say int j is equal to one, j less than five minus i, then j plus plus. Let's see how many spaces will be printed according to the rows. Here we need to print four spaces in the first row, three spaces in the second row, two spaces in the third row, one space in the fourth row, and zero space. Let's see whether that is happening or not. When the index is zero, that means first row. In the first row, how many spaces will be printed? Starting from one till five minus z i is zero, guys. Okay, in the first iteration i is zero, so five minus zero is five. Starting from one till four, one two three four. Four spaces will be printed in the first i first uh, row. Okay. Because first iteration is first row. Now when i becomes one, how many spaces will be printed? Five minus one is four. J less than four means starting from one till three only. Less than four means till three, right? Three spaces will be printed. Is it going correctly? Yes. Four, three. The second row three. When i becomes two, as part of the third row, if the i becomes two, five minus two is three. Less than three means two. So one and two only two spaces. Yes, correct. So think this is uh, working perfectly fine. The spaces logic is fine. So we have to simply write a print statement which can print the spaces according to the logic. Here, this for loop is for printing the spaces, guys. So normal print statement uh, with the space. So how many spaces will be printed in the first row? Four spaces will be printed in the second row. In the second row, three spaces. In the third row, again, okay, two spaces. Fourth row, one space. Fifth row, zero spaces. Five minus five is zero, so nothing will be printed. So zero spaces. Like that. Spaces logic is clear. We are good with the spaces also. The next thing is about numbers, guys. Printing the numbers. So how to print the numbers? Let me explain. Numbers. This logic, guys. Uh, we have to blindly follow. I feel okay. So here we need to provide something like int number is equal to one. Intentionally, we are providing the int number is equal to one because for every iteration, okay, for every iteration that is for every row, this first number is one, right? That's the reason, guys. Before going into this for loop, I'm going to create one more for loop here for printing the numbers. Okay, I'm going to create a for loop here for printing the numbers. But before this for loop starts, initially we have to set this number to one, guys. For every iteration, initially the number will be one because the initial numbers are one, guys. You see, everywhere one is there. That's the reason we have to set this number to one blindly. Now, this logic is also different, guys. So here I'll say int k is equal to Int k is equal to zero, k less than or equal to i, k plus plus. Why I'm writing this kind of logic is for for printing the numbers. Why I'm writing k less than or equal to i? Because if the if it is first row, only one number should be there. So if i is zero, here k is equal to zero, k less than or equal to zero. That means how many numbers will be printed? The next time k will become one. One will not be less than or equal to zero, right? So only one. Number will be printed when i becomes one in the second row. So starting from zero till one, how many numbers will be printed? Two numbers. When i becomes two, starting from zero till two, zero one two three three numbers will be printed. Is it going correctly or not? Yes, one number, two number, three number. In the third row, three number. In the fourth row, four numbers. In the fifth row, five numbers. This is what we need, right? For that, we have to we have to write this logic. And immediately when this iteration starts, when this for loop iteration starts. Directly we have to print this number, guys. Okay, because the first number will be always one. The first number to be printed in every row should be one. So that's the reason when this uh, numbers iteration will start, for loop uh, iteration for the number start, simply print out the number. System dot out dot print. Normal print statement, guys. Here you have to simply print the number and give some space, guys. Okay, because we have to provide the space also. After printing the number, we have to provide the space because you see. After printing this number, we need a space here. After printing this number, we need a space. After printing this number, we need a space. Every number has some space here, right? That space we have to provide. So in between the numbers, there are spaces. So that's the reason we have to provide the space here after printing the number. Done. So far so good. And the next thing here is uh, what should be the next number? Let's say in the first row, 
the first, uh, first row already one got printed with this logic when k is equal to 0 k less than or equal to 0 first number got printed second number won't be there right so here this two three four this kind of calculation should happen guys for that reason there is a kind of formula guys okay uh, you have to remember this formula if you have to write this logic for printing this uh, pascal number uh, pascal triangle okay if you want to write the logic for uh, printing this uh, pascal triangle you need to remember this formula there is no other way the formula is not, nothing but number is equal to number into number is equal to number into here we have to write the logic formula so like this we have to write and here we are going to say i minus k okay this i minus this k in the bottom we have to write k plus one this k plus one so like this guys we have to write so this will take care of the this part calculation part 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 uh, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 3 plus 1 is equal to all these calculations will be done by this formula guys okay this is a formula okay this is a formula so let's see let's uh, let's uh, walk through through this code uh, for one of the iteration for one or two iterations and see whether we are getting the proper output or not okay so initially i is zero guys initially i is zero here uh, spaces logic is fine uh, leave about spaces so anyhow four spaces will be printed here first okay because of the spaces logic uh, phi minus i that is uh, phi minus zero so starting from one till four four spaces will be printed so here already four spaces got printed let's say after that after printing four spaces using this for loop we'll come to this here number will be assigned as one right number will be set to one now this for loop will start k is equal to 0, k less than or equal to i means i is 0 guys, 0 is less than or equal to i is 2. So we'll go inside the for loop and here immediately number got printed, the number 1 will be printed. Number 1 followed by a space will be printed. After number 1 there will be a space, okay, fine. After number 1 there will be a, the space will be printed, that's fine. So after that the number is equal to number into i minus k divided by k plus 1. Let's uh, find out the logic, here i is 0 guys k is also 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, okay, and uh, k plus 1 is 1, 0 divided by 1, something, uh, you simply get the number as 0, guys, okay, but in this for loop, only one iteration will be done, so number will be 0, but it will not be printed anywhere, this 0 will not be printed anywhere, because the for loop is going to stop, when k plus plus will happen, k will become 1, 1 less than or equal to 0 will false, and this number will not be printed, guys, whatever the calculation happened uh, as a result of 0, right, that 0 will not be printed anywhere because in this uh, for loop, uh, when i is equal to 0 in the first row, only one number will be printed. After that, there is no number. So here, after uh, printing the space and uh, the first number in the first row, we have to move to the new row, right? We have to, after printing this one and uh, space and if there are no other number left for printing here, we have to move to the new line. For moving to the new line, we have to write this println statement. So this will take you to the new line. And after this, i++ plus plus will happen, i will become 1. Okay, and here 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 is 4, starting from 1, less than 4 means 1, 2, 3, 3 spaces will be printed guys, in the second row, how many spaces, 1, 2, 3 spaces will be printed, after printing 3 spaces, here again number will be set to 1 guys, number will be again set to 1, and here the for loop iteration will start with 0, 0 less than or equal to current value of i is 1, so the condition will match, 0 less than or equal to 1 will match, go inside the file loop, immediately number will be printed, the first number will be 1 guys again, 1 will be printed along with the space, okay, 1 followed by the space will be printed, after that this calculation will happen, that is equal to number is equal to number into, current number is 1 right, 1 into, 1 into i minus k, i minus k means 0 minus, okay, 1 in, uh, sorry, uh, one uh, i is 1 right, i is 1, so number is equal to 1, i is 1, so 1 into, 1 minus k is 0. In the first iteration, k is 0. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 into 1 into here 1 divided by k plus 1. k plus 1 means 0 plus 1. 1 divided by 1. That is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. So number will become 1, guys. The result of this calculation is 1. And uh, the second iteration will happen where k plus plus k will become 1. 1 less than or equal to 1. True again. So here, since the number calculation came as 1, 1 will be printed with a space. So after this, again, 1 will be printed with a space like this, okay? 
then again we will move to the neuro here print the alarm statement will be executed and we will move to the neuro here we will come after that here i will become 2 so 5 minus 2 is 5 minus 2 is 3 guys one starting from one less than three means two spaces will be printed only two spaces one and two spaces after that number will be set to one uh, and uh, the for loop will start in the first iteration when zero is less than or equal to current value of i is two so condition is true and uh, immediately number will be printed that is one will be printed after one got printed along with space then uh, this calculation will happen guys number is equal to number into kind of here number is one again right one into here i is 2, 2 minus k is 0. In the, first, uh, the first iteration k is 0, right? So it will be 2 minus 0. Here k plus 1 means 1. 2, 2 minus 0 is 2. And uh, this is 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2, right? 2. So number into 2 means the number will come as 2. Result will be 2, two guys. So here k plus plus will happen now. k will become from 0 to 1. So 1 less than or equal to true. 1 less than or equal to 2 is true. And here number, the result we got as 2, right? That 2 will be printed here. You see, after 1, space, then 2 will be printed, then space. Then in the third, in the third iteration, before going to the third iteration, the current number is 2, right? So here, number is equal to number into. Here, current number is 2. 2 into i minus k. i is 2. 2 minus k is 1. This iteration k is called 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 into 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 means half. 2 into half means 1. So number will be 1 again. So in the third iteration, k will become k will become 2. 2 less than or equal to 2 is true. So number will be printed as 1. So again, 1 got printed. You see, this is perfectly working fine, guys. So like that, guys, this formula will be perfectly working. Okay, it will be calculating the Pascal triangle numbers perfectly. So all these two, three, three, four, six, four, everything will be printed perfectly, guys. Okay. Now let's run this code to see whether we are getting the output as this uh, Pascal triangle or not. Okay. We should get when I run this code, we should get the output as a Pascal triangle. Whatever the Pascal triangle I showed here, that's exact Pascal triangle having five rows should be printed now. So run this. You see the Pascal triangle, exact Pascal triangle got painted. One, one, all the edges are ones. And here, uh, as you can see here, one plus one is equal to, one plus two is equal to three, two plus one is equal to three, three plus one is equal to four, three plus three is equal to six, three plus one is equal to four. So calculation is perfectly happening, guys. This is a perfect output we got. So hope guys understood how to write the Java program to print a Pascal triangle. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.